Jesus, Lord. I'm so glad I heard Sister Doris and them get out and got busy today, didn't they? Ooh. They broke out a quartet up in there. They had some church. That, that's an old Franklin to fairground, Bogalusa, eh? Bogalusa, Bogalusa. Say amen. <laughs> well, man, they were singing up in him. That dog said, dog got loose. He broke down. I got Eddie up here and they went on in, didn't they? <laughs> you got to go to Ken Prince. Thank you, Jesus. You know, that's why you have church. You know, just when you got a little program, it's good. We have order, but not out of order. Order is to keep it from getting out of order. But when you have order, you can do it and stay in order because you're doing what you're ordered to do. See, if it wasn't no order for her to get up and sing, then anybody can get up and sing. But by her being ordered to sing, she can get up and sing, and in the order to sing, we would just get busy. But there was, everything was in. And the Bible said, whatsoever you do, do it in decency and in Amen. But we want to give special thanks to all of my elders, their lovely wives. Amen. To the deacons, their lovely wives. Mother Barkham. Amen. Looking pretty. Amen. Always. Sister Dorothy, in their absence, we love you. Appreciate God for each and every one of you. And thank God for his goodness. Good right there, perfect. And uh, I just believe that God got a miracle with your name on it now. We had church all week long. Say amen. I thought them folk was hungry in Texas. I thought they was hungry in Texas. You ain't seen hunger till you went to Memphis. Next time we go to Memphis, all y'all would pack up just to go up there so you could be reminded of what you got. To give you an appreciation for what you got. Them folk were so hungry till, if you notice when they came to the altar, they came in my direction. Say amen. They, they, I said, come to the altar. They all come straight to me. Say amen. They was hungry. I'm saying these people were hungry, hungry. And it was one of them kind of things where, you know, you couldn't just grab a message because whatever you preach, they needed it. And they were just wide open. They were just really, really hungry people. And thank God for the leadership, the pastors up there that were so broken. Pastor, Pastor Pete, Pastor Peoples, them, you know, they were just so hungry. It was just such a welcome. I haven't had that kind of welcome in years. Amen. And Texas and, and Memphis was just some really welcoming meetings that the leaders, amen, just welcomed you, just didn't pull your coat, didn't, no restraints, just... It was like they church was my church. And after I got finished, they just so glad. You know what I'm talking about? And I love that. I appreciate God because everybody can't hear me preach. Everybody ain't got a ear for it. Sometimes you can have a ear for everything else. And when it comes to this, your ear is too full. Say amen. You know, mama could be done cooked a real good, healthy, good meal. But if you done been somewhere at Krispy Kreme and ate about six of them donuts, by the time you get home, you so full of junk that you can't really get a good meal. Same man. And that's what it happens. People get so full of junk that they can't really get a good meal. Well, we love you today. We appreciate God. Thank God for those of you in the live stream. Once again, welcoming you. This is your live stream pastor. I'm coming to my live stream family. And I love you. Appreciate God for each and every one of you. Your prayers your faithful gifts, your support. We thank God for each and every one of you. And those of you in the live stream, if you want to know the events that are going on in the ministry, get on trumpetinzionfellowship.com. Trumpetinzionfellowship.com. Type in the events and it give you to know the revivals and whereabouts that we're going to be at. Amen. So forth and so on. And even you can get on the Facebook, amen, uh, connection, amen. And stay, in, stay tuned. So, Amen. We'll be getting and ready to go to um, and, uh, Jacksonville, Florida, week after next. Uh, next week. Is it next week? Week after next. Amen. Week after next. 
and I'm going to be preaching every night of that except for the last night. Amen. We just bring in revival. Say, man, I just want to stir up the gift that's on the inside. It's time to get stirred up, don't you know, just something that God is doing, something new. Say, man. We love you today. We appreciate you. To the book of Romans, beloved, chapter 6, verse 1. Romans chapter 6, verse 1. Romans chapter 6, verse 1. Those of you in the live stream, amen, we welcome you once again. Somebody said, Brother McCoy, how do you do it? Can I tell you the truth? You know, I'm going to tell you the truth, right? I don't. I don't. Ain't no way in the world a man can do this. God got to be with him. Say amen. God to. Say amen. To the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. Pay attention to what you read. Now, the church world, that, now this is a simple scripture, but it's so simple that even though you show it to the people, they still believe that you can just do whatever you want to do. Now watch, let me read something to you. What shall we, what, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Not Daryl McCoy forbid. Not, not Pastor Barkham forbid. Or, or, or Prophet Johnson forbid. But who forbid? So that means God said, oh no. Oh no. Shall we continue in saying that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? No, you're not. Pay attention. That so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should be, walk in the newness of what? Now, this man, as God raised him, we should walk in the newness of life. There shouldn't be the old you no more. If you've really been buried with him, you should walk in the newness of life. There shouldn't be a continuation in sin. And the Bible said, for we have been what? Now pay attention to these words you listen. We shall be what? Planted, right? What do you plan? What do you plan? Talk about what do you plan? Come on again. Come on, educators. What do we plan? All right, plant seeds. Is that right? And pay attention to the wisdom of the word of God. We plant seeds. And the Bible said, if we be planted where? Together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his what? Wait a minute. We shall also be in the likeness of his what? Watch this. Knowing this, that the old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should know, not serve sin. For he that is dead is free from what? Sin. Now, we, we, were, we were planted with him, which shall be raised in his, in his likeness. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live, what? With him. Now, watch this next verse. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead does what no more? It does what no more? Dieth no more. Death have no more what? Death have no dominion over him. To the book of Acts, chapter 4 and verse 33, I believe it is. Acts chapter 4 and verse 33. We'll be before you very long, try to get you out of here. I know some of you tired, been Easter egg hunting all morning. <laughs> Acts chapter 4. And begin reading to you from verse 33. And with great power gave the apostles witness. With great power gave the apostles witness of the what? 
of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all. Now watch what you get me to read. Ephesians chapter 1. I begin reading to you from verse 15. I want to kind of cut through it. But Ephesians chapter 1. Wherefore, I also, this is Apostle Paul, I also, after I heard of your what? Your faith in the Lord Jesus, your belief in him and love unto all the saints. I cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and of what? And you got to have the spirit of wisdom and a revelation. It ain't something you're going to just look at. The Bible said you won't believe it even though it be declared unto you. He said, I'm going to give you the spirit of wisdom and a revelation in the knowledge of him. You can't just jump up and find out God. No man know the son but the father. No man know the father but the son. And to whomsoever the son reveals him. Paul said, when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb to reveal Christ. This thing has to be revealed. That's why you have to sit down when you're in a ministry. You have to be still. You can't flip-flop. You can't eat at everybody's table. Don't take but one, one something to contaminate everything you got. One word. If, it, if Joseph was in fetters and chains and irons, and the irons did hurt the man until the time that his word came, you understand? A word, just a word, brought him out. If a word brought him out, you understand? Just think what a word can do to you. can put you in. But the Bible said these words that give you the spirit of wisdom and a revelation and the knowledge of him. 18th verse, and the, the eyes of your what? Uh, there's some other eyes that you should have, some other eyes that you should have. Uh, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope, what is the, the anticipation, what is the expectation of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance. Where is it at? Where's this glory at? The inheritance of the, is in the saints. And watch what you get ready to read. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power? The exceeding, I want you to get this revelation of the exceeding greatness. It's not just grace, it's exceeding great. Greatness of his power to us who believe. According to the working of his mighty power. Now this power that I'm giving you is in accordance, it's in line. It's connected, it's in accordance with the power, with the, work, with the working of, the, of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he did what? When he did what? Now this power that he's given unto us, this inheritance that's in us, is in accordance to the mighty power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in where? Heavenly places. Far above, far above what? All power, all principality and power and might and dominion and every what? If you name anything, he's far above it. Name every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the what? To the church, which is his what? Which is his what? Now, wait a minute. Now, God done raised him up, but gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his what? If I was to tell you, Ella Barkham, to take your head out the door, it would be impossible for your head to go without your body. Because your head is connected to your what? And the Bible said, which is his body and the fullness of him that filleth all in all. Watch this here. Next verse. I mean, next chapter. And you hath he what? Quickened, made alive, quickened who was dead in trespasses and sin, where in the time passed, you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also all we had our conversation in time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. And whereby what? Whereby nature, I'm talking about, Nature, where uh, we, we we took on an Adamic nature. Uh, Those scriptures said, uh, 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 "I was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me." Paul said, "When I would to do good, evil is present with me." Paul said, "I know, 
I know that uh, all things, I mean, Paul said, I know that within me, that is within my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. Is that right? Uh, so Paul said, we by nature, by nature, by the Adamic nature, by one man's sin, uh, disobe by one man's disobedience, sin has passed unto all, and death by sin. Y'all listening to me? So by, uh, by nature, we're the children of wrath, even as others. Say, but. Say, we're the children of wrath by nature. Say, but. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even, say even, even means uh, uh, equal to or same time, same thing, right? Even when we were what? Wait a minute. Now, 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 while I was dead in sin, even when we were dead in sin, have quickened us together with who? Uh, quicken means to make alive, made us alive, quicken us together with Christ. By grace are you what? Are you saved and have done what? Have raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Y'all listening to me? Now, he have raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places. But you know, God raised him up and made him, and, and, and he uh, raised him up and he's sitting on the right hand of the throne of the Father. Well, the right hand is the throne of power. Y'all listening to me? But God have raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Is that right? Uh, to the book, last and final scripture, the book of Romans, chapter 8. Romans chapter 8, and begin reading to you from verse 6. Be with me, God. He said, for to be carnally minded, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is an enmity against God. The carnal mind, the human mind, our human mind, is literally an enemy of God. My, 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 my carnal nature don't like God and yours don't either. Don't you fool yourself. He said, because the carnal mind is an enmity against God, for it is not subject unto the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot do what? They can't please God. The Bible said, Jesus done always the things that please the Father. The Bible said, without faith, it's impossible to please him. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and that is a reward of them that diligently seek him. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh but in the spirit. If so be, if so be, y'all listening to me, if so be that the spirit of God dwell where? If so be that the spirit of God dwells in you. Y'all listening? Uh, now say now. Now, now, this is something folk don't want to preach because, and, and now you got to, you know, we always trying to, like, cut the word and, and try to make the word adjust to us, right? The word is precise. It's cut dry. I mean, it's a matter of fact. Absolute. Y'all listening? Say now. If any man have not the spirit of Christ, Christ the Christo, Christo the anointing, the anointing is the Holy Ghost. Acts 10, 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost, right? Right? You know, the Bible said, Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal, that the Lord knoweth them that are his, right? And let every man that nameth the name of the Lord depart from what? But they ain't departing. You understand? They can't depart when you ain't got the Holy Ghost, right? You understand? Our spirit bears with, with his spirit that we are the what? Children of God. So the Bible said, Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ, here we go, and if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Say but, but if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwelleth where? Dwelleth in you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you, Lord, for a divine miracle. I ask God that you bless this service. I ask that you bless this uh, service today, Lord. Let your anointing be upon each and every one of us, God, in this place today, Lord. Father, let the people see you and not me. 
Let the very words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your very sight, Jesus. And Father, right now, let them see you and not me. I want you right now, let the spirit of wisdom and a revelation be upon us. We need to see it. The ends of the world are upon us, and we've got to have a divine miracle. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Now, I'm going to minister the word today. I want you to listen to me very, very carefully. You know, uh, we're in an hour that, you know, you have to understand we're coming back to, we're coming back to the beginning. The Bible said, I will declare the end from the beginning. So going to the end is bringing us back to the beginning. Now, you've got to listen. Everything is in rotation. Everything is in rotation. You understand there's nothing new under the sun. What is has been and what is to be has already been. Whatsoever God doeth, he doeth forever. Don't add nothing to it. Neither does he take anything away. Are y'all listening to me today? Now watch this. The Bible said that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form, no order, no rule, no, rep, no, no, rule, no kind of uh, government, no nothing. Y'all listening to me? Uh, 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 and because of this having no form, it was void. Everything was void. It was just nothing. And darkness was up on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light, and it was, right? So we're looking, we're going back to the end. It's getting dark, getting it dark again now. It's not talking about a darkness with the sun going down. You know, the Bible said, uh, to this Jesus' disciples said, Lord, show us the sign of thy coming to the ends of the world. One of the things that he said is, let no man deceive you by any means, for there shall arise false prophets and false Christ, and they shall deceive many. If it were possible, they shall even deceive the very elect. So that means that there's a spirit of deception in the land. Now one of the things that you must remember now Paul wrote Timothy and he said from a child that has known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise to make thee wise unto salvation. So, so we know that the old books of the Bible were written for our admonition, for our learning. Is that right? So the scriptures uh, cannot be broken. You understand the word of God is forever settled in the heaven and this is our instruction book now. This is our instruction, but we cannot see God. But this tells us who he is, what he likes, what he wants, what he don't want, what he don't like. You understand what I'm saying? This, this is the instruction book of the thing that we cannot see, right? So if we see this, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. There's three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. These three are one. Is that right? So when we get in the word, the word tells us certain things. The Bible said, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. That meant uh, in creation, uh, Satan is smarter than us uh, in the beast mode. Uh, what are you saying, brother? People of God? What are you saying? I'm saying in the carnal realm, in the carnal realm, absent a void of the spirit of the living God, Satan uh, is smarter than we are. Now the serpent which is more subtle than any, any beast of the field. Uh, well, Solomon called us beasts. Paul called us evil beasts. Peter called us brute beasts. He's called us ignorant beasts. You understand? In your beast mode, Satan by creation is smarter than you. Even God in Christ said, be wise as a what? Be wise as a serpent, yet what? harmless as a dove, right? Now pay attention. You got to understand Satan is smart. He's a sabotager by profession. He's a, he's a deceiver. He's a deceptor. You understand? And watch. We're in an hour that Satan takes things. Like just say for instance uh, to, uh, just what uh, he wants to celebrate uh, the birth of Jesus Christ. Now watch it. Now watch what I'm showing you. How he infiltrates and uh, just comes in uh, and because we get in the beast mode in the carnal and we see things that may be uh, uh, good to uh, pleasant to the eyes. Uh, you know, we see the lights, we see the trees, we see all uh, this. You know, he's appealing to us, right? So we take something like Christmas, right? Uh, watch this now. Look what Satan does, and we don't see it because, and we are fighting, get mad about it, Roger. He infiltrates, he comes in. Uh, Y'all don't hear me with, 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 with paganism, comes in with, uh, with, with idol gods, you understand? Comes in with perversion. He takes 
takes uh, something and put Christ in it. Uh, he put Christ in it, right? Uh, and so he comes up with this thing. We celebrate his birthday. Uh, nowhere in the scriptures where we were told uh, to celebrate the birthday. Nowhere in the scriptures. Uh, the Bible said, let God be true and every man be a liar, right? Uh, nowhere in the scriptures is there December the 25th. Uh, nowhere in the scriptures. So man, uh, flesh, Satan comes up with this. Uh, and we adapt this thing. We take December the 25th because uh, we're giving gifts out. Uh, and so people think that that's a good monitor and think it's a good thing because we're giving away gifts, right? But they're not seeing uh, a spirit that is creeping into our hearts uh, and into our minds. Uh, now watch it. It's uh, creeping in uh, in our minds and in our hearts. Uh, if I was to tell you what the Bible say about uh, the Sabbath day, uh, that would ask bondage, right? But if I tell you about Christmas, uh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, your dukes go up. Uh, and and uh, what you, what you, food with Christmas? What you, why, why would you defend something that you don't understand? Why would you defend something that you don't understand? Uh, Jeremiah said, "Learn not the way of the heathen." Neither, uh, neither uh, do, uh, their customs. He said, for they cut a tree out of the forest, fasten it with wood, and deck it with silver and gold. Uh, watch now. We sell it. We take this day. Watch Satan now. He's infiltrating. Uh, he understand he's infiltrating. Know that we are moved by the five senses. You understand? In your beastly mode, you go by what you see, what you smell, what you taste, what you feel, uh, and what you hear, right? So there's a wisdom that he has that's, that's, that's earthly is sensual but it's devilish and there's a wisdom in it and if you're not careful he can infiltrate so here it is so you understand know, here we got Christmas so what's wrong with us giving we ought to be givers right but think about it now you taking one day out of 365 or 366 uh, 366 days and you're going to sit around and make you a holiday in the name of the Lord right and then watch now you got folks excited because it's Christ mass, right? And then what you do, you got all these people excited in the churches with Christmas trees. Nobody, not their individual, can explain to you the Christmas tree. We put the Christmas tree, what is the purpose of it? You can't even explain it. And then you put the presents under the tree. And in order for a person to get to get the present, they have to bow down to get the presents out from under the tree. Not knowing that it's a type of a worshiper. It's a spirit of idolatry. You understand? It's a spirit of idolatry. And then we add stuff to it. We tell lies. You understand? We got the Christmas tree. Then we got uh, uh, we got reefs on the door. You understand? Usually when they put a reef, it represents death. And then we take mistletoes, which is a poisonous plant. And we put it up over there. That's where we're supposed to kiss one another under poison. Watch. I mean, look at the devil messing with our head. You understand? Got you going crazy for one day. You understand? You in debt for one day. Them bought toys that were broke in the next hour. You understand? Buying folks gifts and they mad throwing your gifts in the trash. They done bought me socks again this year. That devil ain't nothing about I ain't buying them. I mean, listen, you can't hardly pay your water bill less known by people present. God's not the author of confusion. But watch it. Don't stop there. So then you start telling your children and the lies. If you don't do right, Santa Claus ain't gonna come. Bring you up. Look at him. You got them uh, fearing a uh, make-believe, fearing an uh, uh, idol, fearing a lie. You understand? If you don't do right, Santa Claus ain't gonna come. You understand? So we got to tell them about Santa Claus, Prancer, Dancer, Prickson, and Dixon, and then Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. And we got to lie. Watch Satan has come in and infiltrated. You understand what I'm saying? And then every year, he got us taken and putting this man back in a manger. And you ain't seeing the subliminal subduction. I'm talking about the king of kings, the lord of lords. So he can't never be grown because every year we put him back in a manger. So psychologically, what you see is what you think and what you think is what you say. He's little baby Jesus. So by the next year, he can't be but one years old. So he might have, you understand, if he ain't but one years old, then he really can't give me no power. He really can't bring no deliverance to me because he ain't but one years old. But it 
don't even stop there. Satan goes on. You understand? He said, I really got to get them now. So I got to come up with this thing. You understand? Because there's something so powerful. And I can't let them see. You understand? The worth of this thing. So what I'm getting ready to come up with. You understand? On the resurrection. Passover. I'm getting ready to change it. You understand? Uh, 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 to, to resurrection day. Or better yet, Easter. What, what he, you understand? He done change it. And then the devil is smooth. He done got into the encyclopedia. You used to can look in the dictionary and look up Easter. And it took you to Easter. Easter. I-S-H-T-A-R. It would take you to that. To the God of Ostar, Which was a goddess. It was a god. It was the sun goddess. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. It would take you to the God of Easter. Easter was not a Christian thing. It was always a pagan holiday. It was never something that was instituted by the church of the living God. We were never told, you understand, to celebrate no Easter. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. So guess what he done? So he come in and feel, feel uh, 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 sabotage and put Easter in with the Passover. Talking about resurrection. And watch, you didn't see it coming. So he says, watch this, this we, uh, he uh, died on Good Friday and he rose on Sunday morning. But watch now, I mean, he's coming in, but we done grabbed him, we done held him, we go in the church, it's emphatic, it's a law, and you don't even understand what he got your mind on. You don't understand the spirit of idolatry. You don't understand. If I can get you to see things in the natural, I can get you to not see what's in the spirit. So watch what he says. He died on Good Friday and rose on Sunday morning. I know some of you right now that know you did your stuff. Uh, went to church with your, your raspberry bread and lemon lime dresses. You understand? And you was modeling all day. Everybody had an Easter basket and a bunny. You understand whether they were chocolate or marshmallows. You understand? And folk was hunting Easter eggs. They planted a thousand in the churchyard. And everybody was hunting. But you're not seeing what Satan is doing. Watch this here. He said he died on Good Friday and rose on Sunday morning. But the Jesus, this man that created in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. This man that made everything. Uh, this man uh, uh, is, is, is just articulate. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, he told us ought not there 12 uh, hours in a day. Uh, what if it's 12 hours in a day? It's 12 hours in a night. Uh, making it 24 hours a day. Are uh, uh, y'all listening to me? Uh, he said, now listen as the son of man, uh, as a Jonah was in the uh, belly of the whale, three days and three nights. Uh, so also must the son of man uh, be in the heart of the earth uh, three days and three nights. Uh, well, a Jewish day, uh, this man, according to Easter, uh, he died on Good Friday. That's what y'all, Good Friday, y'all. Uh, and he rose on Sunday morning. Watch the infiltration. Watch what he's getting to do. Uh, and you can't see it. If I can get your eyes off the power, if I can get your eyes off the essence, uh, I got you. You understand? I'm working hard on this one. Uh, your little Christmas, but this one here, I got to have you. So he died on Good Friday, rose on Sunday morning. Well, a Jewish day is from sundown to sundown. If he died on Good Friday, you understand? And rose on Sunday morning from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday is one day. And from sundown Saturday to sun up Sunday is a half a day. So according to the Easter theory, you understand? According to the Easter theory, he was only in the heart of the earth. You understand? A, a day and a half. He didn't die on Good Friday. If you do your calculations and read the scripture, he died on sundown Wednesday. Watch what I'm giving to show you. He died on sundown Wednesday. You understand? And on sundown Wednesday and rose on sundown Saturday. You understand? Because see, when Mary and them got up a great hour before day, on the first day of the week, Sunday, and went to the tomb he was already what he was already risen he was gone cause he didn't rise on Sunday morning he rose Sunday afternoon uh, Saturday
the afternoon. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. So then they tell a lie. You understand what I'm saying? Watch what I'm saying. So here it is now. So now we are, they got that lie coming. So they got y'all not even knowing what you're doing. You got Easter eggs and you plant them. You're coloring the eggs. Not knowing, knowing the origin of the eggs. And then you plant eggs all around the church. All in the yard. What are you doing that for? What is the purpose of planting eggs? And then we got folks I was 11 years old. You understand? Before I knew that bunny rabbits didn't lay eggs. I thought that they laid eggs because of the church I was traveling. Because of the church I was in. Are y'all listening to me? And they set up there to watch. Y'all plant eggs in the ground. And they want somebody to hunt them down. What was the purpose of it? The worship was. You understand? The Easter, the God of the sun god. We would plant eggs in the ground. And we would take and sacrifice a, a, a rabbit. You understand? Because rabbits are fertile, very fertile animals. They reproduce real fast. And we would offer a rabbit up unto the God of Easter to pray for the, that he would bless our crops and our harvest for that year. And watch, look what he's doing. Idolatry. And you ain't even seeing it. It's just going past you just over your head. So then on Sunday morning, we come to church for Easter, just blind as we could be. Coming to church for Easter, what's... Uh Easter sunrise service. Why are you coming to service to see the sunrise? What in the world does the sun got to do with the resurrection? You understand? You didn't even see it. We're literally worshiping the sun. We're worshiping, you understand, the God of Easter, just not knowing it. You understand this Easter? And look what he done done. He got us looking for eggs. We're setting up coloring eggs all night long. I come out of a ministry. We set up and colored eggs, uh, vinegar. Y'all don't hear me, that nasty smell. Uh, you understand it? Eggs all night long. Uh, you understand putting them in, but uh, y'all don't hear me, we had colors uh, and all kind of stuff, you hear me? And mama would sit around and buy my sister petticoats, a little dress be all out here. And she had, uh, she didn't have a purse, uh, she had a basket. Uh, y'all don't hear me what I'm saying? Uh, with bunny rabbits, uh, you understand? Whether they were fur, whether they were chocolate, whether they were marshmallow, it was a bunny rabbit uh, and a basket full of eggs. Uh, Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Uh, and we just come in the church. Uh, Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Uh, talking about he rose, he rose. Uh, you understand? Uh, with a bunch of bunny rabbits. Look what the devil done done. Uh, everybody coming up in the church uh, with all they just Sunday clothes and they went shopping. Uh, you know, what that got to do? Uh, you understand? Uh, with the resurrection. Uh, all of that was a sabotage. Uh, all of that stuff was to get your eyes off the real essence. All of that stuff was get you. Now you're looking at the sun rising. You understand the S-U-N rising. You didn't see the idolatry. You didn't see the subtility. Why you're working so hard to get me not to see it. So we come to church on Sunday Easter sunrise service. You understand? You understand? With our baskets with the eggs. And it's a thing we got to go Easter egg hunt. And nobody's paying attention to the essence. You understand? The Bible said uh, this man uh, was offered up for our offenses. Uh, you understand? And he was raised from the dead uh, for your justification. Uh, you understand? There's not a message throughout the Bible that was more persecuted uh, than the message of the resurrection. Uh, when they began to preach the resurrection, uh, Satan got busy. Uh, when they went to tell him folk about the resurrection, uh, he got angry. Uh, he got angry. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. Why did the devil get angry? I'm going to show you. Because you got to understand. The Bible said that how the God made man in his own image. You understand that the image of God made him. And he said, let us make man. But watch. You understand? God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And he caused to grow the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You understand? And he commanded the man of every tree of the garden that may as freely eat and of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat of it. Then the day you eat of it you're going to die now. God saw everything that he had made and behold it was very good. God don't make no mistake. God don't make no mistake. The Bible said God is good. You understand? God is good. Oh taste and see that the Lord he is good. Why call me good master? There's none 
none good but one, and that's God. God saw everything that he had made, and it was very good. It was very good. But watch now, God said, let us make man in our own image. You ain't never seen a top without a bottom, an end without an out. A right without a wrong, a positive without a negative. So guess what? I, uh, 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 I'm going to make you a help meter. I'm going to make you something going to help you get where you need to be. So God caused the body. The original man, like I told him earlier today, was made of the image and likeness of God. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man. And he's got to repent. God is a spirit. He said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are light. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God so the original man was a spirit he was a word but God formed the body from the dust of the ground breathed into the nostril of that body and that body became a living soul we get the revelation when we go to a funeral and look at the casket and say oh they look good somebody tap you on the shoulder and say that's not them that's the body that's the vehicle that they live in but the real them is gold because as the body without the spirit is dead. So also faith without works is dead. So the original man is a spirit. Are y'all listening to me? The original man is a spirit. Watch this. So God took the fleshly body that he put man in, opened up the flesh thereof and took out a real and closed up the flesh instead and made Adam and help me. And Adam looked at it and said, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Now watch this. Now the devil couldn't come to Adam because Adam was made in the image and likeness of God. A lie ain't going to come to the truth. A light, a darkness ain't going to come to the light. It ain't even no match. You understand what I'm saying? Because God said the light shall rule the day and the light shall rule the night. Is that right? Yes, rule it. So he didn't want to come to that to Adam. In other words, Adam was made in the image and likeness of God. When a man is tempted, let him not say he was tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted tempted. So I'm not going to the man. But the Bible said the serpent being more subtle than any man, any beast. You understand? He came to the woman and he said, yeah, have the Lord said that thou shalt not eat of every tree of the garden? She said, no, we may eat of every tree of the garden, but the tree that's in the midst of the garden, we shall not eat of it. For in the day we eat of it, we shall die. He said, no, you shall not die. For God doth know, you understand, that when the day you eat thereof, your eyes shall be opened and you shall be as gods knowing good and evil. And when the woman, flesh, the ambitious flesh, same flesh today, want to get in front of God, want to study in front of God, want to come up with theory in front of God, want to come up with philosophy in front of God. For the Bible said the ways of God are past finding out. For as many as are led, God got to lead you. You can't get in front of God. He said there's many things I would love to say unto you. How be it you're not able to bear them now but I will guide you you don't get in front of him I'm going to guide you but humanism we got that thing to get in front of God that's why we didn't got in front of God and now it's a black God it's a white God the God of Yahweh ain't no J's in the Bible ain't nobody fool with Job ain't nobody fool with Jonah ain't nobody fool with Joel everybody got the fool with Jesus ain't nobody said nothing about Joel y'all don't hear me what I'm saying ain't nobody said nothing but they, they are coming about with, Jesus, with all of this theory, uh, you man that got in front of God, uh, and when you get in front of the light, uh, you don't know where you're going. Uh, and watch this now. Uh, so the woman uh, saw uh, that it was pleasant to the eyes, uh, lust of the eye, and that it was good for food, uh, lust of the flesh, uh, and that it was a fruit is uh, to be desired to make one wise. Uh, the Bible said the woman took of the fruit uh, and did eat uh, and gave also to her husband. Now I'm going to give it to the thing that's protecting me. I'm going to give it to the thing that's giving me peace of mind, joy divine, the thing that's literally you understand my, my, my covering. I'm going to give it to him. You understand? I'm giving the poison the very thing. In fact about it, I should have even been talking to the devil. You understand? In my carnal nature. I should have let him talk to, talk to my husband. You understand? Gave to him and the eyes of them both 
were open. Now remember now, when God made them, I'll be at your way in a minute. I got to preach to me. I got some things. I got a Goliath I got to meet. I got an Esau that I got to meet. Y'all don't give me what I'm saying. I got some trials and tribulations that I need power to overcome. So can you, can, would you excuse me to preach and uh, cook for me? Uh, you understand? Uh, so what I'm saying, uh, you understand that the eyes of them both came open. But when God made them, uh, he made them naked. Uh, he made them in the natural naked. He made them in the natural naked. Uh, are y'all listening to me? Uh, but they couldn't see it because uh, they were so covered with the word. Uh, they was in such a spiritual realm uh, till they saw none of them. Uh, they had God in them and God on them. Uh, you understand? Uh, but when they ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they had to step out of that cover. Uh, they had to step out of that word. Uh, you understand? You can't eat a lie and be in the truth. Uh, folk think they can eat a lie and still be in the truth. Uh, when you eat a lie, you got to step out of the truth. God is a light, and in him is no darkness at all. The devil is a liar and the father of a lie. So when you step out of the truth, you walk straight into a lie. You can't have both of them. You understand? You can't have both of them. In the day you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I don't care how much good. It could be 99.9% .9 good, but that point one is going to contaminate a little leaven living if the whole lover. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, the Bible said these words. Uh, he said the, uh, it's the uh, small foxes uh, the spoil of the vine. Uh, you understand? Uh, so I'm trying to show you when they ate of the tree, they, both of their eyes came open uh, and they knew that they were naked. Uh, and so Adam watch, uh, in the presence of God uh, is the fullness of joy. Now God, wait a minute, God don't make no mistake. Uh, the fall of Adam wasn't a mistake. Uh, God planted a garden. Uh, so you don't plant nothing unless you have a plan. I tell them all the time, you don't plant corn unless you plan on having corn flakes, corn dogs, corn chips, or corn bread. Are y'all listening to me today? It was a plan. It was a plan. What would you plan? What would you do in God? First of all, God is good. But good don't show you good. You understand? Light don't show you light. You understand? A positive don't show you positive. Life don't show you light. You understand? I have to create something to define it. Uh, you think I'm good, but you'll never know how good I am uh, until you get some bad. Uh, and the bad going to show you how good I am. So God went to create. Uh, he saw everything that he made uh, and he said was very good. Uh, the Bible said the serpent, which was more subtle than uh, any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Uh, Satan is not a, 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 a self-existent entity. Uh, he was created. Uh, according to Proverbs 16 and 4, he said all things were made by him. Uh, you understand? Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. He didn't just pop up. Isaiah 45 verse 7 said, I form light, I create darkness. I create chaos. I create confusion. I create death. I create, you understand, corruption. I form light, I create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, the, the evil did not come from the devil or trouble. Evil didn't come from the devil. It come from the Lord, do you understand? Why would you create evil and said it was very good? Because see, I'm telling you, the light don't show you light, but darkness shows you the light. You understand? Life don't show you light. Death shows you light. You understand? Positive don't show you positive, but the negative shows you the, the positive. You understand? You understand? Good don't show you good, but the evil shows you the good. God don't show you God. God don't show you God. You understand? It's the devil that shows you who God is. If not, if I hadn't made the devil, you would never know I'm a healer unless I let the devil make you sick. You would never know I'm a way maker unless I let the devil hit your finances. You would never know I'm a deliverer unless I let a pack of demons hit your mind. You understand what I'm saying? You would never know that I'm peace unless I let a devil give you a state of confusion. You understand? This is how you get to know who I am. Fact about it, you don't know it. Satan gives me more glory than you can ever imagine. He's the ex. He ex you understand? He expresses me. He gives me my definition. He lets you know how good I am. When Satan gets 
good. Uh, get finished with that bad stuff. Uh, he'll let you know how good I am. When Satan get rid of with all that trouble, with all that disturbance, uh, he'll let you know how much peace I am. Uh, so I got to let you fall, Adam. Uh, you understand the fall of Adam in the accident. Uh, you understand it was on purpose. Uh, watch, I'm giving the priest trouble. Uh, it was on purpose. Uh, it was on purpose. What do you mean? Uh, I must show you it was on purpose. Uh, if God, if the fall of, of Adam was an accident uh, and Satan was able to trip him like that, uh, then we need to start serving the devil. Uh, but the devil, uh, 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 you got to understand it was a plan. Because uh, if it wasn't, then what, what the Bible said, listen, uh, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. Uh, I'm preaching the same thing, but somebody ain't caught it. Because uh, you still mean, you still nasty. Uh, you still got a, a nasty disposition. Uh, you can't overcome nothing. Uh, every time you look around, the devil got you backed up in a corner. You understand? Uh, ain't got no smile, no joy, no peace, no nothing. Uh, ain't got no virtue to give to nobody. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, but the Bible said, now unto him uh, that is able to keep you from falling uh, and to present you faultless before his presence uh, with exceeding joy. God is able to keep us. We're kept by the power of God. Uh, well, if that's the case, then how did Adam fall? Uh, then he told me something was baffling. He said, count it all joy when you fall in the divers temptation. Uh, knowing this, that the trying of your faith uh, work in patience, but let patience uh, have its perfect work uh, that you may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Uh, so the fall of Adam wasn't an accident. Uh, let me prove it to you. John was on the Isle of Patmos, uh, and he saw uh, in a vision, he said, Behold uh, the Lamb of God uh, that was slain uh, before the foundation of the world, uh, before there was a where or there, uh, before he ever scooped out the sea in the hollow of his hand, or uh, uh, met it out the heavens with the span, or uh, uh, complicated the dust of the earth in a measure, or uh, weighed the mountains and the scales or the hills and the ballads. Uh, amen. Jesus was already slain. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, he was slain before the found. Why would you slay? a lamb before the founder because I know man is going to fall and I got to have a plan of redemption for that man that has fell fallen. Are you listening to me? And then Isaiah popped up with his predestinated prophecy and said unto us a child is born. A son is given. The government shall be up on his shoulder and of his kingdom there shall be no end. He backed up and turned around and said for a sign y'all a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a child and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel, uh, which is interpreted God with us. Uh, but listen, uh, he was, he'll be a root that shall grow up out of dry ground. Uh, there shall be no beauty to be desired of him. Uh, there's no comeliness. Uh, Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Uh, He's going to be rejected and despised. Uh, He's going to be a man of sorrow, acquainted with grief. Uh, He's going to be smitten of God. Uh, and it's going to please God to bruise him. Uh, but who, y'all, uh, have believed our report? Uh, and to whom is the arm of the Lord? revealed. Wait a minute now. There wasn't no Gable going to a little town of Nazareth to talk to a little woman by the name of Mary. You understand a little young girl named Mary. This is almost 400 and something years prior. Isaiah prophesied and said he was wounded. How can he be was wounded and the Gable ain't even appeared under Mary. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for what? for our iniquity uh, and the chastisement of our peace uh, was upon him uh, and with his stripes we healed. Uh, it was a worse thing. It was a worse thing. Uh, but watch this. Uh, the Bible said Gabriel uh, appeared 400 and some years later. The Lamb of God y'all don't hear me. Slain before the foundation. What do you got somebody dying for? What somebody dying for? You understand? Already predestined. Uh, already predicted. Uh, and why Jesus said search the scriptures uh, for in them you think you have have eternal light. Uh, and they are they that testify of me. Uh, and the scriptures cannot be broken. Are uh, you listening to me? Uh, well, listen, uh, 400 and something years later, you understand, Gabriel appeared uh, in a little town of Nazareth uh, to a young girl, 13 or 16, uh, in between that, uh, you understand, young girl, uh, and said, Hail Mary, uh, handmaiden of the Lord, uh, for thy highly favored. Uh, I done look high and low, and there's nobody that I can find uh, that's going to be able to take the pressure that I'm going to put you up under. It's going to be able to take that pressure. You understand? Uh, she's engaged to a man. Uh, Y'all don't hear me? Uh, you understand? Uh, but the Gabriel appeared and said, for thou art highly favor. He said, Mary, for thou shalt conceive, thou shalt conceive 
and bring forth a child and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save the world from their sin. She said, hold it just a minute. You understand? I'm espoused. I'm engaged to a man. How can this thing be sin that I know not a man? I'm a virgin. I ain't never touched a man. He said, Mary, what's impossible with men is possible with God. He said, for the Holy Ghost shall overshadow thee and that holy thing which thou shalt conceive shall be called the Son of God. It shall be called the son of the highest and Mary backed up and say so shall it be according to thy word God ooh, if God could find somebody that could take that kind of pressure now can you imagine going to your engaged husband and telling him you prayed it back in those days a Dutch was automatic a stone death they would stone you because you were considered to be an adulterer she had to go and tell him I'm praying it by the Holy Ghost you crazy you think I'm gonna believe that woman you prayed it by an angel and you out your mind that God had to appear under Joseph and say don't make it don't make an open show Lord keep it private Joseph for this thing is of the Lord and even though God spoke to the man and told him it was of the Lord Joseph looked at her and wouldn't touch her you understand would not touch her you had to be you had to be a strong woman you don't know if he didn't caught an attitude and they go tell somebody and they kill you you sitting around you got to understand the birth of Jesus was on this wiser. You understand? You setting up, you got to live with a man that won't touch you, won't kiss you, won't do nothing. You understand what I'm saying? For the whole nine months, looking at you like an adulterer, looking at you like a fornicator, looking at you as unfaithful. You understand? But after nine months, this woman gave birth. You understand? This man would even took her to a hospital. He took her to a manger, took her somewhere. You know what I'm He could have took her to y'all there. It wasn't like he couldn't have took her, but he couldn't take her. You understand? Because this is an illegitimate child to him, y'all. If I take her to the hospital, they may get the blood and find out that I'm not the daddy. So they took her to a, took a little, little shed where a bunch of sheep was. And she had the baby in a manger. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Oh, but the baby grew in wisdom and stature, in favor with God and man. And at the age of 12 years old, you understand? And the child went up to Jerusalem. The family did for the feast of the Passover. You understand? And instead of him playing with the other kids, he went inside the temple and began to ask questions and give answers concerning the scriptures. And the priest and the leaders and the scribes were they marveled at this young man seeing that he had never been taught out of the law. They didn't know who they were talking to. They didn't understand that this was the Son of God. You understand? I'm saying, oh, but after a while, when his mom and him went back home, it got so far they was looking for him, couldn't find him, and they went back to Jerusalem, went to the church, and he was there. They said, listen, don't you care? You had us buried. He looked at him and said, I must be about my father's business. And the Bible said he went home and became subject unto the earth. And at the age of 30 years old, he had heard about his cousin, John the Baptist, baptizer in the river of Jordan. And the Bible said that how did John, you understand, was preaching, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Y'all better give me what I'm giving to preach up in here. I'm preaching to myself today. Watch this energizer. Watch this anointing. He said the same spirit going to quicken me. Watch it. I feel it coming. You understand? He heard John the Baptist preaching the kingdom of God. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. He said, who are you, John? Are you one of the prophets? Are you Elijah? Who are you, the Christ? He said, no, I'm just the voice of one crying in the wilderness, making straight the way for the coming of the Lord. I come to make the crooked way straight, the rough edges smoother, and make the mountains become hills. He said, but listen, he said, I truly baptize with water. And there's coming one after me that's mightier than I, the latches of whose shoelaces I'm unworthy to untie. He said, I baptize you with water, but he's going to baptize you with the Holy Holy Ghost and that with fire. Well, all of a sudden, John began to quick. You understand? You understand? He had the Holy Ghost. He was feeling.
filled with the Holy Ghost. He had to, he was filled with it. He wasn't baptized, but he was filled with it. And he quickened and turned around. Here comes Jesus walking down the muddy shores of Galilee. And he said, Behold, the Lamb of God had come up to take away the sins of the world. He said, This is him. This is that one that I was talking about. This is him. This is the one I was talking about that's going to save the world from their sin. And when Jesus came, he said, John baptized me. John said, Holy, I have need to traveling in the I have need to be baptized of you. You understand? He said, Listen, John suffered to be so, for it becometh us to fulfill all righteous. And the Bible said that Jesus, that John took Jesus down in the water and straightway coming up out of the water, the heavens opened up and the Spirit of God descended from heaven in a bodily shape <coughs> like as of a dove. And the Bible said it remained upon him and a voice came out of heaven. Nowhere in the scriptures where there's a son of God after Adam. Adam was the only son of God. Y'all don't hear me? Well, he said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Y'all don't hear me? And the Bible said immediately the spirit drove him. One scripture said immediately led him into the willingness to be tempted of the devil. And after those days, uh, the Bible said in those days he fasted uh, 40 days and 40 nights. Uh, and after those days of the temptation, uh, he returned into Galilee uh, in the power of the Spirit, uh, healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people. And when he began to preach, uh, he began to preach and tell them, uh, he said, listen, I've come uh, well, for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. i come to reconcile men back to God. Uh, you understand? Uh, i come to demonstrate to you and let you know uh, that I'm getting it to pay a price. I'm going to become the sacrificial lamb. It is written of me. It is already written that I had to be wounded for your, my, your transgression and bruised for your iniquity and the chastisement. My peace shall be upon you. You understand that with my stripes, you're going to be healed. And while he was on the face of this earth, he was preaching and showing them. He said, now watch this. He said, I for this, for this cause came I into the world and to this end was I born. I come into the world. He told Peter, he said, listen, he said, I'm going to be delivered up into the hands of the chief priests and the elders, and they're going to crucify me. They're going to deliver me unto death. And Peter grabbed him and said, be it far. He told Peter, get thee behind me, Satan, for thou savest the things that be of men, he said, and the, not the things that be of God. He said, he listen, I shall be delivered into the hands of the chief priests. And as Jonah was was in the bed of the well for three days and three nights. So also must the Son of Man be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. And after three days and three nights, I shall rise again. How do you know this? How do you know this? Because listen, he came to his own and his own received him not. And to as many as received him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God. Not to them that were born of blood or flesh or the will of men, but the born of God. Here it is, the word. The word was made flesh and the world among us. And we beheld his glory as the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. He was the word made flesh. What are you doing? What kind of confidence? I told you to search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they that testify me. He said, lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will, O God. God. You understand? I can't stay in the heart of the earth but three days. How do you know it? Because according to the scriptures, Hosea 6 and 1, he said, I've smitten you. Now he said, I've smitten you, but I'll heal you. I've torn you, but I'll bind you up again. And on the second day, I'm going to revive you. And on the third day, I'm going to raise you back up. And I'll tell you, I'm not worried about nothing. My flesh shall rejoice in hope. What do you mean? Because why? I'm going to die, but my flesh is going to rejoice in hope. My flesh is still going to rejoice with an expectation. What are you expecting? He will not suffer his Holy One to see corruption. Neither will he leave my soul in hell. You understand 
I'm saying? In other words, when I go to hell, it ain't gonna be no decomposition. You understand? It ain't gonna be no Rick and Mortis. You understand? God, when I go to hell, I'm going to hell on a mission. You understand what I'm saying? Watch what I'm showing you. Here it is. Jesus come on the scene. And while he was here, he said, as I am, so are you in this world. He said, the servant cannot be above the master, neither the disciple above his Lord. And they shall be as the master, as the, as the, as his Lord. And you listen to them. He told Abraham, he said, in thy seed, in thy seed, you understand, shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. In thy seed, I'm going to bless thy seed. Y'all don't give me thy seed, seed. He's always talking about a seed. But if you understand those scriptures, every seed shall bring forth of its kind. Every seed shall bring forth of its kind. What are you saying? As I am, so are you in this world. The servant cannot be above the master or the disciple above his Lord. He said, the works that I do, shall you do also. I'm coming on the face of this earth. You understand? For three and a half years to demonstrate to you what's going to happen after my death after my death uh, and my burial uh, and my resurrection uh, I'm going to show you that you're going to be able to heal the sick. Uh, you're going to be able to raise the dead. Uh, you're going to be able to cast out devils. Uh, you're going to be able to cleanse the leper. Uh, you're going to be able to unstop the, the deaf ears and loose the tongue of the dog. Uh, you're going to be able to look at a star and say peace be still. Uh, you're going to have power over the elements. Uh, you'll be able to step on the water and the water will solidate. Uh, you're going to be able to, to speak to somebody uh, that's been dead and take it and call them back to life. You understand? Somebody said once a person die, it's over. Ain't no sense in praying for them. Y'all don't hear me? After death, listen. The Bible said it's appointed unto men once to die. After that, the judgment. So that means in between there, we got to wait till judgment day. Well, how many of us done sit around? You understand? that Just let folk go. We can intercede for the dead. Y'all don't hear me? Lazarus was dead in for, for four days and stinking. There wasn't nobody in hell there wasn't nobody in heaven. It was a man on the face of this earth that called his name and brought him up out of the depths of hell. I'm going to break it down to you again. Y'all listening to me today. You understand? Raised him up when he spoke a word and got a man out of hell. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Been dead for four days. You understand? Walked to the tomb. He said, the works that I do shall you do also. He took two fishes and five loaves of bread and fed a multitude of over five thousand men alone, not including the women and the children. He said, this is for you. The works that I do shall you do also. Behold, what man of love hath the Father bestowed upon us and we shall be called the sons of God. He said, the world don't know us because it didn't know him. He said, but beloved now, but beloved now, are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but when he shall appear, we shall be like him. We're going to be just like him. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. Watch what I'm saying. But that it came, the Greeks came to, they came to James and John and said, listen, we would see Jesus. You understand? And they came to Jesus. You understand? Andrew and Philip, they came to Jesus and said, Jesus, the Greeks desire to see you. But the normal conversation is, Tell them uh, I'll see them later. Tell them uh, I, I, I won't be able to see them. Tell them I might be able to, but, but here's his answer. He said, tell them, uh, except the corn of wheat uh, fall to the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it die, it shall bring forth fruit uh, and that more abundantly. What are you saying? Uh, right now, I'm in a body, uh, and I'm limited to time, space, and transportation. Uh, but I'm a seed. Uh, but once I die, and they plant me, uh, except the seed fall to the ground and die, it abides alone. Uh, but you understand? Uh, that with a dies alone, it'll bring forth fruit. In other words, I'm going to die. They want to see me, but after I die, there's going to be a bunch of me's. There's going to be a bunch of me's. Y'all don't give me this. All right, I'm over your head. There's going to be a bunch of me's. Every seed shall bring forth of its kind. As I am, so are you. You're not walking in your faith. You're not walking in the right. You're not walking in the real. I'm, I believe God. I'm taking him at his word. You understand? Watch this man. This man 
man had power. You understand? They told him that uh, Lazarus, whom you love, uh, is sick unto death. Uh, and he said, uh, he, they said Lazarus is sick. Uh, and the Bible said, uh, come and pray for him. Uh, the Bible said he abode two days still uh, in the same place. Uh, and after two days, he said, let's go uh, to the city of Bethany. Uh, his disciples said, hold it. Uh, you know the people of Bethany sought to stone you. Uh, you understand? Uh, he said, wait a minute. Ought not there 12 hours in a day? Uh, if a man walk in the day, he stumbleth not. Uh, and if he walk in the night, uh, in the light, in the darkness, he stumbleth. Uh, he said, I'm the light of this world. Uh, he said, let's go. Uh, for he's sleeping and I'm awakening. Uh, they thought he was sleeping. Let's go awake him. Uh, and they not knowing uh, that the man was dead. Uh, and when Jesus got to the city of Bethany, uh, I'm giving to preach to me, y'all. Uh, I understand he got to the city of Bethany. Uh, here come Martha. They said, Jesus has come. Martha come running out. Uh, and she said, Jesus, uh, I'm talking about your Lazarus sister. Jesus, uh, if you'd have been here four days ago, my brother Lazarus had not died. Uh, but I know whatsoever you ask the Father, he'll do it for you. He said, listen, uh, your brother shall rise again. Uh, she said, yes, Lord, I know uh, in the last day, uh, in the resurrection, remember now, uh, every seed shall bring forth of its kind. Uh, he said, your brother shall rise again. Uh, she said, yes, Lord, I know uh, in the last day of the resurrection. Uh, he said, woman, I am uh, the resurrection. I am the life. Uh, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, uh, yet shall he live. Uh, and he that liveth uh, and believeth in me shall never die. What are you saying? Uh, as I am, so are you in this world. Uh, I am the resurrection. Uh, you understand? Uh, the people of the world, they marry. Uh, they're given in marriage. Uh, you understand? Uh, but in the world, but in this kingdom, uh, they marry not. Uh, we shall be as angels, uh, the children of God, uh, being the children of the resurrection, uh, being uh, what we are right now uh, with the children of the resurrection. Uh, he said, as I am, so are you. Well, if he's the resurrection, uh, and he said, as I am, so are you. What does that make us? Uh, that makes us the resurrection. Uh, that makes us the resurrection. Uh, that makes us the resurrection. Uh, Y'all sitting around, they got you with a bunny. Uh, they got you with a rabbit. Uh, they got you with an Easter egg. Uh, they got you with a, you understand, with an Easter basket. They got you with uh, Good Friday. You understand what I mean? Lent for, Lent for Wednesday. You understand? They got all of this idolatry because the devil don't want you to know the power of the resurrection. You understand what I mean? Watch what I'm getting to show you. You understand? He said, I got to die. You understand? It's expedient that I go away. If I go not away, the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, he cannot come. You understand? For your offense he was delivered for your offenses. You understand? He had to become sin for us who knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness of God through him. But there's no shedding of blood. There's no remission of sin. And we who are far off are made nigh unto God by the blood of the Lamb. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. I got to die. I got to die. You understand? The blood of bullocks, the blood of lambs, you understand, can wipe away the sin. But I'm going to become the sacrificial lamb. By one offering, one sacrifice, have I been perfected forever. Them that are sanctified. So I'm going to become your sacrificial lamb. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. To wit, this is what I want you to know, that God was in Christ. Reconciling the world back into himself. You understand? God got in the body and used the body as a sacrifice and become the lamb, the unspotted lamb, the lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world. I can't marry you, Mary, because I'm here to die. I can't set up shop because I'm here to die. My purpose is to come and to die for mankind so man, travel, so man can get reconciled back into the Father, so he can get reconciled reconciled uh, back to the original place uh, where he had dominion uh, over the fish of the sea, over the fowls of the air, over the beast of the field, uh, over all the cattle, over everything that God made. Uh, you're coming back to God. Uh, God let you fall uh, so you can know who he is. Uh, I'm the Lord that kills and I'm the Lord that makes alive. Uh, I'm the Lord that wounds uh, and I'm the Lord that heals. Uh, I'm giving to show you who God is. Uh, so I let you fall uh, to let you know that God's a healer. 
I let you fall. I let you know God's a deliverer. I let you fall. I let you know that God's a waymaker. I let you fall. But you know that He's a peacemaker. You understand? He's your great consolator. He's your comforter. He's a doctor, your sick room, your lord, your court room. I let you fall so you know that He's your light and your salvation. You understand? I let you fall so you know that He's the saving stripper of thine of His anointed. I let you fall so you can know that He's your shepherd. He's the Lord that will uh, uh, redeem of your life from destruction. I let you fall. You understand? I let it happen. But now that you got that knowledge, it's reconciliation time. You get me to come back. Uh, and when you come back, uh, there ain't going to be no murmuring complainer. Uh, there ain't going to be no murmuring complainer. Uh, you understand? Because uh, I'm going to give you a song that the angels can't sing. Uh, I'm going to give you a testimony that the angels can't testify. Uh, angels ain't never been sick. Uh, angels ain't never been broken. Uh, they can't sing Precious Lord, take my hand. They can't sing Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound. They can't sing at the cross. You understand? As I first saw the light, they can't sing. You understand? It's the blood of Jesus. They can't sing. You understand that He's a miracle worker. They can't sing that God can do anything but fail. They can't sing. You understand me? Because they never had the thing. They never been touched. And I'm giving you a song that the angels can't sing. I'm giving you a word that the angels don't even have. They don't know what it means to be sick. They don't know what it means to be broken. They don't know what it means to be down. If we can give God praise, we can praise Him with a praise. If they can't praise Him with it, that's why God inhabits the praises of the saints. He lives in the saints' prayers of life. Y'all hear me today? You understand? I'm giving you a testimony. I'm letting that happen. Watch. I'm letting it happen on purpose. This ain't no accident. You understand? I mean, you know, guess what y'all you understand he got to die he got to become the sacrificial lamb. He got to become the sacrificial lamb. What do you mean? If the prince of this world had a known, he never would have crucified you. Are y'all listening to me today? Watch what I'm trying to show y'all. So this man became sin for us. The wages of sin is death. We laid upon him our sin, our iniquities. He become the sacrificial lamb. You understand? But his job was to go and shed his blood for the atonement for the ransom, for the bail money. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. You don't understand. You looking at the cross. It wasn't complete at the cross. It did not get complete at the cross. You can preach the cross all day long and not a demon will move. But I tell you, brother, when you, my God, you preach the resurrection. You understand? He was delivered for our offenses. But he rose again for your justification. What do you mean? You understand? When he died, and went to hell uh, and offered up his blood. Uh, offered up his blood. Uh, the blood was the bail money. Uh, the blood was the bond money. Uh, the blood was the atonement. Uh, Y'all don't kill me what I'm saying. Uh, he went to hell and paid uh, for sin. Uh, he went to pay the price for sin. Uh, but there were people that died from Adam uh, unto Noah that never heard, uh, never had the opportunity. Uh, but he went to hell and told them, uh, if you believe on this bail money, uh, you can come out of hell. Uh, you can come out of hell. Uh, you can come out of hell. I'm talking about people that have been in hell for centuries. You understand? Believe on me. You understand? In three days, believe I done paid the bond. I done paid the ransom. You understand? Here's what the power is. Here's what the devil wants you to see. He wants you to see. You understand? Easter. But I'm telling you, when the man came up out of hell, you understand what that was? You know what that meant? That the ransom was paid. So if his body got up out of hell, that means that the ransom was paid. And from that moment on, he justified us. He freed us. And when he come up out of hell, it was a sign that the bail done been paid, that the bond done been paid, that you have been set free from the powers of hell. He didn't come up by himself. He brought a bunch of folk from hell. And if he can bring a bunch of folk from hell, what can he do to bring them out of a strip joint, to bring them out of a crack house, to bring them out of a whole house, to bring them out of a jail house, what 
I'm talking about the power of the resurrection. You understand what I mean? And when he got up, y'all, he didn't come up out of hell. He didn't come up out of hell. If they had it, notice, you understand? Adam, he's Adam, said, Lord, I'm naked. What happened? You understand? The devil took his clothes. The devil took his clothes. The devil stripped him naked. Y'all don't get me what I'm saying. He took his clothes. So when God gave him, the devil gave the devil Jesus. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He didn't get a devil to you. He gave him to the devil. He gave him for a sacrifice. So when he got when the devil got rid of him, he ain't thinking. He strips his clothes off. He takes his clothes off. Y'all don't kill me what I'm saying. Takes Jesus' clothes off. And see, he was naked to the world. Y'all think that was a shame. No. He undressed him to get dressed. Y'all don't kill me what I'm saying. Because I can't go to hell with clothes on. Because if I do, ain't no sense of getting no more clothes. So strip me. So when I get to hell, I find my big brother's clothes. And I'm going to put them back on. That clothes of dominion. That clothes of power. That clothes of victory. That clothes of an anointing. Y'all don't kill me. He went to hell. And in three days, he preached revival. And on the third day, he rose with all power. And heaven and earth given unto him. He was fully clothed, y'all. He was fully clothed. You understand what I'm saying? That Holy Ghost rose up again. And God don't just save us. He don't just blood wash us. He don't just justify us. He sends back to Christ. The resurrected one. The seed. You understand? As we were buried with him. You understand? Through baptism, we were planted. You understand? In the likeness of his death. That means that we were planted in the likeness of his death. We shall rise in the, in the same. In the likeness of his resurrection. If we were planted in the likeness of his death. We shall rise in the likeness of his resurrection. He was planted in weakness. He rose in power. He was planted in corruption. He rose in corruption. He was planted in dishonor. He rose in honor. You don't even know what you got. If you got the Holy Ghost, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead shall quicken your mortal body. If you got the Christ, you got the resurrection. If you got the Christ, you got the resurrection. You got something living in you that can't die no more. You have eternal life abiding on the inside. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power that be of God and not of us. He don't want you to preach the resurrection. It's a slap in his face because Jesus went to hell and whooped him, slapped him, took his keys, rose with all power in heaven and earth. Satan can't even get in his own house because Jesus got the keys. Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. But if Jesus got the keys, he said, behold, I give unto you the keys. I give you the keys. I give the church the keys. And you understand, you can lock and unlock. You can let, you can, you can, you can retain. You understand, you can remit or we can retain. You understand what I'm saying? We got that power. There's an anointing upon us right now. There's an anointing on us right now. And we sitting around. And I want to pray. I want to fast. I want to be in that word. You see me? You see me? My language is changing. Every day, every time you hear me, it's changing. It's getting deeper and deeper. It's going more into Christ. It's getting to the point that I'm not talking like normal folk. They don't talk like this. Everybody want money. And there's a resurrection. There's an anointing coming. There's a glory getting to come. There's a power coming up. You understand what I'm saying? Like you ain't never seen. It's a glory coming up. You got what I'm talking about. Watch what I'm telling you. There's a people that's given to be changed from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from faith to faith, from grace to grace. You understand? We get to be conformed to the image of his son. We get to take on the nature. We get to become living epistles. We come to become living epistles. Folk ain't got to read the Bible. You can be read a man. When they see you, they're going to see thus saith the Lord. When they see you, they ain't even got to look for a healing. They'll see you and say, be made whole. They can look at you and get healed. When they look to Jesus, demons cried out. When they look to Jesus, they need to head the back of her because he was a living word. He said, as I am, so are you. It does not yet appear that you shall be. But when I shall appear, you're going to be just like me. And that's what I'm doing. Every man going to be changed. 
page in his own order. I'm talking about from glory to glory. I'm talking about from glory to glory. I'm talking about to strip to shiver. You sitting around. I might got to beg you to come to church. You ain't got to beg. There's a resurrection. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. And I'm trying to tell y'all, greater is he that is in me and he that is in the world. What are you talking about? Resurrection mean to get up. Resurrection mean to do it again. Resurrection mean to live on. Resurrection mean to revive. I got something in me and to live on. I got something in me and to get up. I got something in me and to do it again. I got something in me and to live again. I got something in me. If you got that Holy Ghost, you can't keep a God woman down. You can't keep a God man down. I am the resurrection. I am the life. He that believeth in me, they were dead yesterday. We're the children of God. What? And being the children of the resurrection, you're the children. You got a DNA on the inside of you. It won't let you stay down. You got a DNA on the inside. I don't care who prophesy. I don't care what they say. They'll tell you you ain't going to make it. They'll tell you ain't going to come back. they tell you going to fall. They'll tell you ain't going to come back. I tell him, I don't care where I got to go. If I got to fall, it ain't an accident. It's on purpose. Because guess what? If I go down, I'm going down with a purpose. But guess what, y'all? I can't stay down. I can't stay down. Because I am the resurrection. I am the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. So quicken your mortal body. 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 I don't care if you're tired. I'm going to quicken you. I don't care if you're sick. I'm going to quicken you. I don't care if you're going through. I'm going to quicken you. I don't care if you're depressed. I'm going to quicken you. I'm going to bring you through. I'm going to bring you out. I'm going to bring you over. I'm going to bring you out. Lift your hand tonight and let yourself know I am the resurrection. I'm just like Jesus. And ain't nothing can hold me. Can't nothing stop me. If I got to die and go by way of the grave when the trouble God Sound the dead in Christ. You can't go nowhere without me. You can't go nowhere without me. Because the dead in Christ are gonna rise first. And we that are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. Y'all better kill me what I'm saying. I got that Holy Ghost. I got that anointing. I got something on the inside. Somebody said something. He said, Listen, I got that thing on the inside. You understand? That's holding the way. I got that everything on the inside. They used to say that I can't explain. And I can. I can explain it. I can explain it. It's the Jesus. It's the Jesus. The same yesterday, the day, and forevermore as I am. As I am. Present tissue. So are you. What is it? He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the great I am. He's the living word. You don't give me what I'm saying. He's the mighty God. He's the battle action. He's the light. He's the salvation. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all sitting around here tonight. I'm preaching. And it's same old. It's same old. God going to send the McCord to a people that's going to receive this word. See, it's too much, y'all. You understand? Y'all done got too fat. And God's going to give us some new wine skins. God's going to give us some folk that's going to take this word and say, God, I'm going to believe it. I'm going to take salvation to the marketplace, to the, to the parking lot of Walmart. And on the street corner, you give me to light it up. You give me to turn cities upside down. You ain't got to wait to get to church to get healed. Y'all gonna break healing out at the bus stop. Y'all gonna break healing out in the beauty shop. Y'all gonna break healing out. You understand? In the Walmart shopping market. You understand what I mean? It's revival giving me to break out. You understand? It's gonna be in the marketplace. It's gonna be in the highways. It's gonna be in the byways. If folk go set up. They might not have a tin. They just gonna set up a set up a brush off. They set up my God the speakers and go to preaching. You understand? That's what this is an hour for revival. Darkness is covering the earth. And God's darkness to people. But arise y'all and shine y'all.
now for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. I will glorify the house of my God. Y'all don't kill me what I'm saying. There's some people that give me the walk in the Holy Ghost realm with the power, with the authority, with the glory of Almighty God. I'm trying to tell y'all, listen, while I'm preaching, I'm getting healed. While I'm preaching, get delivered. While I'm preaching, the change of being broken. And while I'm preaching to me, this is life. This is peace. This is joy. This is strength. This is happiness. This is wisdom. This is the anointing. This is the glory. This is Almighty God. This is Almighty God. I'm quickening. I'm quickening. Somebody get quickened. Somebody get delivered. Somebody get set free. Glory to glory. Glory to glory. Glory to glory. Strength to strength. Faith to faith. Take God at his word. The power of the resurrection. I said the power main. I said the power of the resurrection. I said the power of the resurrection. We sat around. Let the devil trick us. And all this word. You see my speech is changed. It's changing. But as it's changing. There's outside. Forces are coming. You know what they're doing? They're trying to box me out. They're trying to make me doubt. They're trying to make me feel like God ain't there. But my God, I got a word. You know, stay if I can't see him, I can't feel him. I'm walking by faith. I just shall live. They're gonna live by faith. I got a word to tell me. He shall perfect those things which concern me. I got a word to tell me. He that have begun a good work in me will perform it until the very day. I got a word to tell me. If these light afflictions are but for a moment, but they're working. I got something in me telling me glory and tribulation. Tribulation work it. I got something in me that say count it all joy when you fall in the time is temptation knowing this that the trying of your faith work it. I'm in a way I'm a work in process right now and all I got to do now all I got to do brother Montgomery all I got to do is a little simple thing you understand David said teach me thy ways teach me thy ways oh God and lead me in the plain path because of my enemy understand. See, teach me your ways because the enemy will go to talking in my mind and making me feel like you understand, things are wrong that I'm out of the wheel. Teach me thy ways, O God, and lead me in the plain path. Deliver me not over to the will of my enemy. They breathe out cruelty. They speak falsity. I would have fainted. I would have fainted, man. I would have fainted. I would have given up. I would have thrown in the towel unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that you're going to allow me to be tempted about that which I'm able. I believe that you give to every man according to his several ability. I believe that many may be my affliction, that you're going to deliver me out of them all. I believe that you have every present help in the time of trouble. I believe it. So guess what? He said, listen, I would have fainted unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Here's the key. Wait. Wait, I say. Wait upon the Lord. And he'll strengthen thy heart. He'll strengthen your heart. Wait, I say. The youth shall fail. The young shall fail. The young the youth shall fail. And the young shall utterly fail. The they that wait. We're going through some stuff in our mind. We're going through stuff in our body. We're going through stuff in our home. We're going through stuff in our marriage. We're going through stuff on our job. I'm trying to tell you it ain't a devil thing. It's a wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm using the devil. He's going to take you to another level. I'm using the devil. He's going to give you a greater understanding of who I am. I'm going to quicken you. I'm going to quicken you. I'm going to quicken you. You will not die, but you shall live, that you may declare the works of the Lord. You got something to do, and I can't let you die. You're troubled on every hand. You understand? You're troubled on every hand, but not in despair. Persecuted. You understand? But not distressed. You understand? You understand? You understand? Forsaken. You got what I'm saying? Going through all of these different trials. But I'm right there for you. I'm right there for you. You understand? Wait. Wait, I say. The young
young shall fall, the youth shall, shall utterly, the young shall fall, and the youth shall utterly, you understand, shall fail, and the youth shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They're going to mount up with wings as an eagle. They're going to run and not be weary. They're going to walk and not fade. Wait, I say, wait upon me. Wait, 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 I say, wait, and I'm going to give you the deliverance. Wait, I say, what brought Job through his trial? All the days of my point of time, I'm a waiter. You know, being both a man slave. Yet when I wait, I'm waiting on him. I'm waiting on him. You can call me a fool. You can call me what you want. But I'm waiting on my change to come. Because I got some word to tell me. As long as the earth remains, there's going to be seed time and harvest. Night and day, winter, summer, cold and heat. Without season. I'm waiting. Because to everything, there's a season. And a time to every purpose under the sun. I'm waiting. Because we can be and do it for a night. And joy is coming in the morning. I'm waiting. You understand? Because these light afflictions are but for a moment. But they're working in me. I'm far exceeding greater weight of greater. I'm waiting. Because he told me to be not weary in well doing and do season. I'm a weeper for faith now. I'm waiting. It look like my God. And people running over me, taking advantage of me. I'm waiting. Because you told me you're going to allow me to be tempted. I bet that bitch I'm able. But I'm waiting, y'all. I'm allowing the outward man to perish. But the inward man will be renewed. I'm breaking your shell. I'm breaking your shell. I'm breaking your shell. At the power of the resurrection. At the Jump up and just shake yourself. There's a plane that's riding 30,000 feet in the air. And if there's an earthquake on the earth, 30,000 feet below, when the earth opens up, there's energy from the center of the earth. There's energy. <laughs> when that earthquake's happened, there's energy from the center of the earth that'll shoot up out of the earth and affect the plane 30,000 feet in the air. When an earthquake comes, it'll make a plane rock up in the sky. But the earthquake was on earth. But what was on earth? Shook heaven. What's on earth gonna shake heaven? It's getting ready to be an earthquake. And this power is getting ready to bust open. And we get ready to affect the heavenlies. Stand on your feet. That's, all. That's why he wants you with an Easter bunny. You understand? Behold the rabbit of God. So the rabbit was slain before the foundation of the world. We celebrate paganism. We celebrate idolatry. We celebrate all of this stuff. And the devil done made you forget who you are. If you got the Holy Ghost in him right now, you're a walking earthquake. Read to happen. They constantly look at Mount St. Helen. They look at all these different earthquakes. They got them, they got them on scales. They got them on scales, and every time you just see a little smoke, but the little smoke ain't nothing but a sign that this could be an earthquake any day. They got one in Yellow, Yellowstone Park. Y'all don't hear me. They got earthquakes. The Lord said it's going to be a, a volcanic eruption in America. Just like you see in Hawaii, like you see over in these other countries. But see, you see it, and it just, they keep it, they keep meters on it. They keep meters on it because the the way it erupts, it don't tell you. They keep meters on it. I'm talking about when it erupts, it don't tell you. An earthquake don't give you a sign. It just, yeah, 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 yeah. When that volcanic eruption comes, you hit that, that earth hits, and that lava spews. That lava, that hot fire spew. That hot fire, and all they can do is measure it on a Richter 
scale. <laughs> they ain't going to be able to have a rector to wreck this. Look at somebody said, uh, you're a walking earthquake. Ready to explode. Look at somebody say, Poof! That's where it's going to happen. That's where it's going to happen. You're going to wake up one of boom. You're going to call somebody and say, I don't know. Listen, I saw a miracle. Man, listen, something that happened to me. I, listen, everybody in my house has been got saved. They crying out. And I, and I went, to the, went to the beauty shop, and that woman used to cuss doing my hair. That woman speaking it. She went and put her hand in my hair and went to speaking it to boom. Hear me what I'm saying. I messed around, pet my dog. He had the fleas and the may, and that little booger got here. Boom! Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. I messed around, hit my pocketbook, and know my bills was due. Open it up, and it was filled with money. Boom! Y'all don't hear me what I'm saying. It's giving to be an explosion up in here. It's giving to be an explosion up in here. Look at your neighbor said, We have this treasure in earthen vessels. Get me to be an explosion up here. Say, Boom! Y'all. Somebody better scream the power of the resurrection. They tricking you with Easter. It's bigger than Easter. It's bigger than a bunny. It's bigger than eggs. It's bigger than an Easter basket. It's bigger than sunrise. It's the power of the resurrection. It's the Christ in us, the hope of glory. It's the healer. It's to deliver. It's to deliver. It's to. Some of y'all just got quicken. Some of y'all just got quicken up in here. I said some of y'all just got quicken up in here. Some of y'all just got your deliverance up in here. While I was preaching, some of y'all just got something broke off of here. You realize who you are. He said, if I'm the resurrection, he said, as I am, so are you in this world. But if I'm the resurrection, Monica, if I'm the resurrection, so are you. You know what that means? You got to get up here. You got to start all over again. You got to live again. You got to do it again. Living on the inside. I got something in me that say I can do it again. I got something in me that say I'll rise again. I got something in me that says I will live on to resurrect me, to revive, to restore, to come back to life. I got it living in me. That's why I'm not, I can't take nothing laying down. It don't matter what I go through. I can get sick. I don't care what the doctor say. I don't care what the Lord you say. I got that resurrection and if God see fit he want me to go in another direction so be it. But while I'm here it's going to be boom shakalaka. It's going to be boom shakalaka. It's going to be boom the power of God. It's going to be boom the healing of God. It's going to be boom the deliverance of God. It's going to be boom the peace of God. Lift your hand. I feel a miracle. I feel deliverance in here. I feel healing. There's a resurrection in this place right now. Somebody that just got resurrected while I was preaching, you felt down and out. You felt like it was over. But I done resurrected you. Live on. Live on. Live on. Do it again. Rise again. Get up again. Revive yourself. Stir your own self. Revive your own self. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead shall quicken, shall quicken, shall quicken, shall quicken, shall quicken your mortal body. I got something in me that'll make me come alive when I feel like dying. Make me come alive 
when I'm sick in my body, make me come alive. When I'm weak, make me come alive. When I'm broke, Lord, heal me. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the power. I feel the Holy Ghost. They talk about Easter. And let me tell you about it. They talk about Easter sunrise. Let me tell you about the day. S-O-N rise. When the day star arises in your heart. That's when the Holy Ghost will rise. When it rises up in your heart, that's when that word come alive. I don't care what the devil say. I got a word when I get sick. The day star rises. It said he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him with his stripes. I'm healed. I ain't got to die. I got eternal life. God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten soul. And whosoever believeth in him, 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 shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. Y'all better lift your hand and say, The life is in the Son, and the Son is in me, the resurrected Jesus, not just in the Jesus. But Jesus that rose with all power, not just in the Jesus, but Jesus that rose with the keys to death and hell, not in the Jesus, but Jesus that rose in power, that rose in honor, that rose, y'all don't kill me, incorruptible, that rose and came down no more. I got eternal life living in me. I got eternal life living in me. Sometimes. My body wanna give up. Sometimes I wanna throw in the towel. Koto rika, hunda na bahasa ya, riko krisa, ramba ba bahaya. But when the Holy Ghost, when I be like Jim, I feel like giving up, but I can't stop. Cause the Word of God is set up in my bone like fire, like fire. Some of y'all got that 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 fire. Some of you got that fire. It's burning in you. It's burning in you. Y'all don't kill me. It's burning in you. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Lift your hand and say, Lord, I'm speaking my own delivers today. I'm prophesying to myself. I'm telling me I'm coming out. I'm telling me that I'm healed. I told you, let the weak say that I'm strong. And let the weak can say that they're strong. Let the sick can say they're healed. Let the poor can say they're rich. Let the bound can say they're free. Let those of you who got children in the world say they saved. Say they saved. Call those things. And be not as though they were. I'm predicting I'm going to hell. In three rounds. In three rounds. It ain't going to last 15 rounds. In three rounds, I'm rising the triple champ. I'm going to be the king of heaven, the king of earth, and the king of hell. If I go to hell, hell got to bow down. If I go to heaven, angels got to bow down. If I'm on earth, everything got to bow down. Put a ride. Got to the house. I'm going to I'm the triple champ. I'm the triple champ. I said I'm the triple champ. I said I'm the triple champ. Wait a minute. He said he was the triple champ. Well, guess what, y'all? He said that God raised him far above all principalities. I was might and dominion, and above every name that is named, y'all don't kill me, and I put all things under his feet, and the Bible said, you, which were dead in trespasses, even when we were in sin, he quickened us together, and raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places, so guess what, whatever he is, if he's king in hell, if he's king on earth, if he's king in heaven, if I got the Holy Ghost, 
If I got the power of God, I'm king in heaven. I'm king on earth. But the angels got to bow down. There's a will we get better go in. The angels going to listen to you. Angels going to bow down to you. Do you understand? Because we ain't going to speak in our own language. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you can ask what you will and it shall be done. To which one of my angels said I have any time. Sit down on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Are they not all ministering angels? Are they not all ministered angels to minister to the heirs of salvation? Angels are there at your behest. Angels are waiting on your orders. Angels are waiting on you to tell them what to do. They're waiting on you to tell them where to go. You get me to get in the driver's seat. You get me to get in that bed. They're not going to obey you. They're going to obey God's word. So get that word. Get that word. Talk to them through the word. They got to obey the word. Y'all don't They got to obey that word. I'm talking about the resurrection. I'm talking about the resurrection. That man that got up. That man that got up. Guess where he is? Tap your stomach three times and say he lives. He lives. He lives in me. If you believe it, just scream. Just say something. <laughs> Lift them hands. Down over there, all over this building. If something broke off for you, go to praise him. If something broke off for you while I was preaching, it was a strange word up in here. I said, it's a strange word, based down. I said, it was a strange word up in here. It was a strange word. See, that's what he don't want you to get. See, because it went against tradition today. He showed you that the, that the, little, the sunrise Sunday, the Easter basket, the bunny, the died on Good Friday, all this was lies to get you not to see the power of the resurrection. If I can get you to look at a bunny, if I can get you to look for an Easter egg, you won't even be doing it. You, in the, you out there looking for an egg instead of looking for a soul to get a spiritual egg off of them. Some folk got spiritual eggs, devil and birth and stuff on them. I prophesy, I get these M's, I get these little new births off of people. He got us looking in the wrong direction with the spirit of idolatry. That God's given to raise up preachers that ain't going to be afraid. The Bible said, God, with great witness, they show forth the power. With great power, they gave witness of the resurrection and great grace was upon them. With great power, they gave witness of the resurrection because the resurrection is power. When that man rose up, it shook heaven. It shook heaven. It shook earth. When he come up out of hell, it shook everything on the face of this earth. It shook the clocks. It shook the calendars. It shook everything. He come up and bust time in pieces. He split time in half. Time stopped when he got up. Time stopped when he got up. It started all over again. When he got up, it was no more before Christ. It was E.A.D. Time stopped when he got up. It just stopped. When he stepped on the face of this earth, time began again. That's why he's fighting us so hard, the Christians. They want to set up and take a little pagan holiday to try to annihilate the most powerful thing that could have ever happened to us. And that's the power of the resurrection. There's some of you so contaminated, it's so sad. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so sorry that your spirit is so crossed out. I am so sorry that your ears are so clogged and so filled with everything else that you don't have no room for this. I am so sorry, but I'm going to keep preaching because somebody, there's a, there's a fourth that's going to hear me. There's a fourth that's going on their knees and saying, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. There's a fourth that's saying, possess me. Take control of me. Let this mind be in me, which is also in Christ. There's a fourth of us that ain't caring about fame, money, nothing. Nothing. A paycheck, nothing. But saying, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. The world is not waiting on Christians. They're waiting on the manifestation of the Son of God. That little old pain you've had on that one shoulder, that, that one side. Sometimes it'd be hard to even raise that arm up. You can hardly sleep on that one side. You can raise both of them hands and you will not feel not one pain. All down on that side, all down in that hip. God make you whole. God make you whole. God say, tell her don't worry about nothing. Say, say, tell her don't worry about nothing. He said, I got them in the palm of my hand. All the ones you've been worrying and praying about, he said, tell her. But I'm not a man that I should lie. Tell him I got him in my hand. Tell him I know you didn't raise him that way. Tell him I got him in my hand. Tell him I got him in my hand. Tell her that I don't lie. Tell her I told her I made a promise that I'm a bless her seed. I'm a bless her. You ain't seen nothing. You've been going through something in your physical body. You've been saying, Lord, please, Lord. He said, tell her, wait on me. Wait on me. Wait on me. Lift your hands. You can sit down if you want to. I'm getting ready to go to the throne of God. I'm getting ready to go to the throne. Some of you are going to have to make decisions. You know, there's a visitation, and I've been praying. I said, Lord, visit me. Visit me like you did Abraham, like you did Moses, like you did Elijah, like you did Daniel. Visit me like you did Ezekiel. Visit me like you did Noah. Visit me like you did Paul. Visit me like you did John on the Isle of Patmos. Visit me. A visitation will change you, I'm telling you what I know. You ever get a visitation from God? See where I'm at right now? See, I can't do like you. I can't change like you because I had a visitation. I saw something. And I can't go back on what I saw. I seen it. I seen it. And I'm telling God to give me another visitation. It's something that God is giving me to take me into. You, you, you can't even imagine. Spoke to me this morning. He said, wait for me. He said, I know it's painful. I know it's shameful. I know, I know it's hurt. I know you're hurt. He said, but you got to understand. Wait for me. Wait for me. I'm doing something. I don't understand everything. I don't, I don't understand everything, but I done had enough experiences with him to know that he don't make not one mistake. It's getting ready to happen. No, no, it's not getting ready to happen. It's happening. It's happening as we speak. Can I tell you something? Would you believe me? When I went to Memphis, I can't really believe what happened here. It's unbelievable the way these people were. That's unbelievable. That's like, I think like, I, I would maybe say, these folk flattered me. These folk, these folk, these folk, you understand? This can't be like this. I mean, I'm talking about this morning. I said, Lord, this, this, that's strange. But the Lord spoke to me and I said, it ain't your time yet. He said, but when it get dark enough, he said, you're going to see them. They're going to be running. See, we trying to save our life. Lose it. See, right now, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. People say he's crazy. People say he lost his mind. People say that stupid stuff he preaches. It's cultism. It's control. Look at it. I'm losing it. You'll be hated of all men for my, I'm losing it. 
You be talked about four feet line of losing it. But the stone which the builder set it not, the same shall become the head of the cornerstone. This is marvelous in his eyes. Father, they, whatever they got to do, I'm coming before you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm asking you for a divine miracle, God. Father, right now, Lord, these folks are running. Some folks are running to the wall. They're running to the altars. But I ask for a miracle, Trevor. Now. I'm asking you for a miracle, Lord, for a divine, supernatural miracle, God. Move for the people, Lord. Move right now, Lord. Send an anointing, Jesus. Send a glory up in this place today, Lord. Father, right now, let those in the live stream, Lord, you quicken them today down a bit. You quicken them today, Lord. You quicken them right now, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord. Pour out your anointing upon all of us, God, today, Lord. Send a glory up in this place right now, Lord. Send your anointing up in this place right now, Lord. God, they falling up on their knees. They're running to the altars, Lord. God, the little children are crying, Lord. Please, Lord, don't let me miss the time of my visitation, Lord. God, look upon those in the live stream, Lord. This is resurrection time, Lord. This is resurrection time, Lord. This is resurrection time, Lord. Call upon him with your whole heart. Cry out to God. Remember whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Call upon him. Call that name. It's something about that name. It'll bring you deliverance. Call that name. God resurrecting us. God getting us up out of the hell. He will not suffer his holy one. And by one spirit are we all baptized into that one body. So if he's not suffering his holy one to see corruption, neither is he leaving his soul in hell. That means he's not going to suffer us to see corruption. Neither will he leave our soul in hell. Cry out and say, Lord, let me be in you and you and me, Lord. Cry out and say, Lord, make us one. Make us one, Lord. Let make us one, Lord. Tabernacle his flesh, Lord. Possess me, Lord. Possess me, Lord. Make us one, Lord. Make us one. Two can be different. Three can be different. One cannot be different, Lord. Make us one. You're the resurrection, Lord. But if you're the resurrection, we're one. I'm the resurrection right with you, Lord. I got that get up in me, Lord. I got that live again, Lord. I got that I can do it again, Lord. I got that I can start all over again, Lord. I got that revive in me, Lord. I got that resurrection. Resurrection, Lord. I got that get up when it's impossible, Lord. When other folks say I never rise, that resurrection will come up again. That miracle resurrection, Lord. God, I got it living in me by the Holy Ghost, Lord. God, I'm going to be full of faith and full of the Holy Ghost, Lord. God, fill me the more, Lord. I know it's one feeling, but many refills, Lord. Fill us again, Lord. Fill us again, Lord. Paul preached to them and they were filled again with the Holy Ghost. Cry out, cry out to be full of faith and fill of the Holy Ghost. Uh, tell them I don't want to be a regular Lord. Uh, I don't want to be a regular preacher. Uh, I don't want to be a regular singer. Uh, I don't want to be a regular musician. Uh, I want to be like David Lord. Uh, when I pray demons got to go. Uh, when I sing yokes uh, got to be destroyed. Uh, when I preach Lord. Uh, the dead got to be raised. Uh, call up on him cry tonight. Uh, call up on him live stream. Uh, I sent a word to heal. Uh, live stream. Uh, I sent a word to deliver. Uh, I don't care what your doctor says. I don't care what your lawyer say. Say to the Lord rebuke you. I command healing. Say to the Lord rebuke you. I command deliverance. Say to the Lord rebuke you. I command God that you break every yoke, Lord. That you loose every shackle, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I send a word to heal. I send a word. Somebody out there in the live stream that got quickened. Because those here quickened. God Quicken us, Lord. Quicken us, Lord. Quicken us, Lord. Make us alive again, Lord. Make us alive again, Lord. Quicken your people, Lord. Quicken them to pray, Lord. Quicken them to live holy again. Quicken them, Lord, to do right. Quicken them to be obedient, Lord. Quicken them to be faithful, Lord. Quicken them to be loyal, God. Quicken them to be trustworthy. Quicken them to be faithful, Lord. Quicken us, Lord. Raise us up again. Raise me back up again. Raise my mind. Raise my soul. Quicken me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. You better call upon him. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. There's a darkness coming. God, give me a step out of the equation. Walk with the light. While you have the light, believe in the light. That you can become the children of the light.
tonight. It will become your DNA. Tell God, possess me. Tell God, possess me. In the name of Jesus, take control of my mind. Take control of my thoughts. Take control of my ways. Order my steps in your word. God, right now, Lord, order my steps in your word. I'll commit my works unto thee. Establish my thoughts. Take control, Lord. Take control, Manasseh. Take control. Cry out to God. Cry out to God with your whole heart. Call up on him right now. Call up on him right now. Call up on him, woman. Call up on him, man. Call up on him, preacher. Call up on him, prophetess. Call up on him, man. Call up on him, daughters of Zion. Come on and cry out to God. Come on and cry out to God. Come on and tell him, Lord, let this treasure in earthen vessels, let it manifest, Lord. Let it manifest, Lord. Let what's on the inside manifest on the outside, Lord. Let what's in me be on me, Lord. Let what's in me be on me. God, though this Albert house or this tabernacle went to dissolve, I got a building not made by the hands that's eternal in the heaven. Clothe me, Lord, with my house from on high, that I be not found naked in this mortality. May be swallowed up of life. Tell him to swallow you up. Swallow me, Lord. Take control, Lord. Let there be a volcanic eruption. Let it be an earthquake. Let it be an earthquake, Lord. Let it be an earthquake, Lord. Let it be an earthquake, Lord. Break this earth, Lord, to release your power. Break this earth, Lord, so the Christ can manifest, Lord. Break this earth, Lord. God, you send in some of us through the worst trials, Lord, to break this earth, Lord. Let this Albert house be broken. Break the alabaster box. Break this alabaster box. Let the oil can flow. Break me, Lord. Let the oil can flow. Break me, Lord. Get this pride. Get the lust. Get the jealousy. Get the racism. Get the hatred. Get the deception. Get the perversion. Break this alabaster box. Let the oil can flow at the fresh oil, at the fresh oil, the fresh anointing, the fresh glow, the fresh rainbow. Cry out! Cry for the glory! Cry for the manifestation! Cry out! Don't let me miss the time of my visitation. Playing around trying to be popular. Playing around trying to be seen. Not I, but the Christ. None of me, all of you. None of me, all of you. None of me, all of you, of me, all of you Jesus. 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 Jesus! 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 You said about calling your name. You will deliver Jesus! Deliver my children. Jesus! Deliver the saints, Lord. Deliver my sons and daughters in the gospel, Lord. Jesus. 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 Call his name Jesus. Stir up the gift that's on the inside, Jesus. Stir up the gift. Jesus. Father in heaven, Lord, God, I'm asking you for a miracle. I'm asking you for a miracle tonight, Lord. God, if I ever ask you for anything, touch the live stream, touch that oneness in the, in the ICU, touch that oneness on the bed of affliction, touch that oneness incarcerated, touch that oneness sitting in that house right now saying, Lord, I feel like I'm on. I feel like I want to kill myself. Lord, resurrect them, Jesus. I want to sit there so depressed. Lord, resurrect them. I want to feel like all hope is gone. Resurrect them, Lord. 
I send your word to heal, Jesus. Peace, peace. Peace in their mind, peace in their body, peace in their soul. Peace in their mind, peace in their body, peace in their soul. God, don't let a pagan holiday take away your power, Jesus. Don't let this paganism, this idolatry make people not know who and what you've done for us. When you got up, it was a sign that we're free. We're free, Jesus. And the bail have been paid. The bond have been paid. Now I got to walk. I can't walk any kind of way because if I go back to sinning, there remain no more sacrifice. Ain't going to be no more bail money. It ain't going to be, I'm going to give me that newness of life. Give me that newness of life. Nothing more, Jesus, help me, Lord, help me. Help me more, help me, Lord. Nothing more that I won't know if I want more, nothing more than you. Father in heaven, Lord Jesus. Father, I want more, nothing more, nothing more, nothing more, Jesus. Come on, Jesus, please. Please help me, Lord, please help me, Lord, please help me. Please help me, Lord, please help me, Lord. Please help me, Jesus, help me. Please help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus, please, please. Please, Jesus, please, Jesus, please, Jesus, please, Jesus. Please, God, help me to wait till my change come. Help me to wait, help me to wait, help me to wait, God, help me to wait. As people throwing in the town, as people walking away, God, the mockers, the scoffers say, where is your God? Where's your healing? Look at all the stuff you're going through. Help me to wait. Help me to wait. Help me to wait. Look at all the stuff you're going through. Look at all the hell. Where's your God? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait up on it. Wait. Standing on your feet all over this building with your head bowed and your eyes closed. And if you can't stand, you stay right there where you are. Right there where you are. Right there, Lord, send of the Lord, send of glory. Send of glory. Send of glory. God, you let me preach. Lord, there's something you let me do. It's different, Lord. They can't see it, Lord. Don't let them miss it, Jesus. They're right here with me. A man is not without honor, save in his own home and in his own country, Lord. Don't let them miss it, Jesus. Don't let them get so close that they can't see, Lord Jesus. Send your glory, Lord. Send your anointing. Standing on your feet all over this building. All over this building. Every head bowed. Father, we thank you for this day. God, there's some people that have been so used to customs that it's hard for them to change. But God, today I lose my life. I declare it. I open myself up for more of you. No matter what I got to go through, no matter the ostracism, the criticism, the rejection, being despised, the sorrow, the grief. I open myself up, Lord. I want to be like Jesus. Yea, all that live godly are going to suffer. You said we'll be hated of all men for your name's sake. We'll be betrayed. Our parents, children, kinfolk, friends, for your name's sake. But God, whatever you do, don't let us break under the pressure. Don't let us give up in the struggle. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Run over to somebody and say, the power of the resurrection. Run over, cross over to the other side of the church and say, the power of the resurrection. Some of you, when you say it, somebody else, something going to break off of us. The power of the resurrection. Tell them again, say, the power of the resurrection. 
Oh, you ought to just get up, just hug yourself and say the power of the resurrection. Hug yourself. Thank you, Jesus. The power of the resurrection. Those of you in the live stream, anybody want to call this Resurrection Sunday, shame on you. But you got to wait once a year to get a resurrection. After Jesus died, it's been resurrection every time I open my eyes. Every day I'm resurrected. Every day I'm getting up. Every day it's a new start. Every day it's a new moment. Every day I live. Sister Doris, every day, the day was resurrection in the song, son. Resurrection. They don't know you just wasn't singing. You were singing to yourself. You was telling yourself. You were singing to yourself. You was resurrecting your own self. You was giving your own self hope, encouraging yourself in the Lord. Resurrection. Every day is a resurrection. Every day I'm getting up. Every day I'm living. Every day. Brother Barkham, do you know every day is a resurrection for you? Doctors can't even figure it out. Doctors is checking you and say, Mother, listen. We can't believe this. Resurrection. Lift your hands and say, I will not die, but I shall live, that I may declare the works of the Lord. Give God the biggest hand praise live stream. We love you. So until the next service, may God bless you. If God broke something off of you, give it up and give him a thunderous praise by him. Give him a thunderous praise. Give him a top and give him a thunderous praise. Trumpet and Zion live stream. It's giving time. The first giving option is Cash App. That's dollar sign give T I Z. The second giving option is PayPal. That's PayPal.me forward slash give T-I-Z. You can also mail in your gift. Send all gifts to P.O. Box 1267, Gulfport, Mississippi 39502. On behalf of Trumpet and Zion Fellowship and our leader, Brother Darrell McCoy Sr., we want to say thank you for all of your love, all of your gifts, and all of your support. Trumpet and Zion Fellowship desires, above all else, to move the gospel of Jesus steadily forward. And one of the most exciting ways we do so is with the construction of our brand new Augusta, Georgia church. We expect to complete construction by the end of this year. And it's because of your diligence and willingness to give and to support that make this labor of love possible. Again, we say thank you, Livestream, for all that you do. Remember to stay prayerful, stay joyful, and remain faithful and diligent in all that you do for the name of Christ. We can't wait to see you again soon.